Yo, what is good guys? Welcome to the ULBL Season 1 Draft Analysis. This does mark my return, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I haven't spoken to an audience in a long time, so it may be a bit clunky to begin with. You know, this is my first time interacting like this for a while. Um, I'm really looking forward to this season, this is the first video of many to come. Like I said, this marks my return. Uh, let's get straight into it. So, this league is 16 people, I believe. Um, it's my league as well, I made the league. Um, what else is there? We have Ubers in it, to mix things up. And there may be added twists along the way. So, starting things off, my round one pick was Palkia. So, Palkia, Water Dragon. Amazing stats. Now, from what I remember, it's very bulky. It gets Spatial Rend, which has a high chance to crit, I believe. Uh, yeah, if I give this thing leftovers, it can do really well. Um, I could even use Rain Dance to boost it. Things like that. It's very bulky, good move pool. And of course, dual core typing in the Draft League format. Round 2. I picked up my Mega, I picked up Mega Pinsir. I was trying to get Mega Scissor, but it went, so I ended up with Mega Pinsir. I think it's still a good pick. You know, the bug flying type, amazing attack, good speed, high defense, it gets priority, and it gets an amazing ability called Aerial which means normal type moves become flying type moves. I don't know if I'm remembering that right, but. A really good pick, again it does really well in rain I believe. Moving on to round 3, I had to pick up Bronzong. Whenever there's Ubers, Bronzong does really well. You know, there's an opportunity for Trick Room, it's a Steel type which is another core type. Has amazing defensive stats, relatively good attack, relatively good HP. Uh, like I said, it gets amaz an amazing move pool, it gets things like Block. Toxic, Rest, um, Trick Room, Gyro Ball, all of the greats, and again, works really well in Rain. And then, so, Round 4, Sylveon. Now, Sylveon determined my Round 5 pick, so I picked up Sylveon, because it can bat and pass, it's a Fairy type, so that's another core type down. Great special defense, great special attack, great HP. Uh, gets pixelate, which means normal moves become fairy moves. So I can have stab hyper voice. This thing can bat and pass. It can use rain dance. Things like that. It can wish. Um, so yeah, and because I picked this, and because it gets rain dance, round five I picked Waterium Z. Z Rain Dance, plus one speed, I can bat and pass that into whoever I want. And then, if I don't do that, I can give the Z Crystal to Palkia, and Palkia can use it for Z Hydro Cannon. Is it Hydro Cannon or Hydro Pump? Hydro Pump, sorry. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah. So, Waltarium Z. Really good Z Crystal for me. We have to draft Z Crystals in this rule, we voted on it. Uh, definitely adds some depth to the gameplay, I believe. Round 6, I picked up Victini. So, Victini's my tier 1 pick. It was really hard to do. Oh yeah, I haven't gone through the tiers. So, Palkia, Uber, Pinsir Mega, Bronzong, tier 4, Sil um, Sylveon, tier 2, I believe. So, Victini's round 1. Um, I was really struggling with a round 1 pick because I, originally I wanted um, Thunder Assyrian and that went really early so I couldn't get it so I spent loads of time thinking about my round 1 pick. I ended up with Victini because I don't know why I picked it. It's a fire type, I needed a fire type. Uh, it gets Trick Room, gets a good move pool. Um, gets recreate the strongest move in the game um, yeah I've heard you can use it in trick room really well with recreate so maybe choice banded recreate 
while trick room is up because v create reduces your speed so the more you use it the better the pokemon becomes in trick room i think but yeah base 100 and everything a standard good standalone pick uh round seven i picked up my tier five torterra got so i've got now got my grass type and a stealth rocker it's got decent attack and defense and decent hp uh, yeah, I mainly picked it to have a rocker and to have that grass type. I think it'll do well. It's got a low speed, so probably will need trick room support. But we will see how it works. I've never used this before. There's a few mons on here I've never used. I've never used Mega Pinsir. I've never used Torterra. I've never used Victini. So it'd be really interesting to see how it works. Round 8, I picked up Whimsicott. Again, another mon that I haven't really use but it gets prankster as an ability so it gets good priority uh it's a grass fairy which is good again it can set up trick room but then also i have the opportunity for tailwind with whimsicott which is really good it's not the bulkiest of mons so it may struggle but with that speed i'm sure it will work fine and it has it's able to use taunt which is really good against Opponents who might want a toxic stall or wish stall. What else can I say about this one? Um, Cotton Guard as well. I could use that if I wanted to run a more bulkier variant. Again, it's not really a Pokemon I've used, so I'll have to see how well it does and what I can do with it. Round 9, I've picked up Crocodile. Again, it's another one that I've never used, but I've really wanted to use. It's got amazing attack. It can have Intimidate or Moxie as its ability. Moxie raises it, its attack when it knocks out an opponent. And then Intimidate lowers the opponent's attack upon entry. So, amazing attack, amazing speed. It's another stealth rocker, and I can use Knock Off as well with this. And then it gets good coverage against a lot of other things because it gets stone edge fire fang moves like that uh crocodile is tier three whimsicott is also tier three i forgot to mention what tier whimsicott was in i think i don't know i'm not sure i'm quite sh stressed out doing this video because it's been a long time since i've done a video like this and i want to make it good for you guys so fingers crossed I'm doing well and you enjoy the video. Round 10, I picked up a Moongus. So this is really a pick to add some bulk to the team. It gets Regenerator and then moves such as Leech Seed and Giga Drain. Has amazing HP. Um, it's Grass Poison so I can use it to soak up toxic spikes if anyone carries toxic spikes with them and I could use it offensively if I use toxic on lots because lots of these mons can run toxic so I could do that and then switch into a Moongus to use Venom Shock, which doubles when foes are poisoned so a really solid pick for me I think and again it's got low speed so would do really well in trick room potentially Round 11 I picked up Conkelda, who is tier 2, and Moongus is tier 3. Um, pure fighting type, adds to coverage, amazing attack, amazing HP. Um, speed again is low so it probably needs trick room, although it does get priority moves such as Mock Punch. So either way it's pretty good and with that attack it's amazing. So. It's definitely something that I couldn't pass up because I know that it'll get lots of kills. Potentially even be the kill leader. Uh, round 12 I picked up Tier 4 Diancy. It's Rock Fairy. Fairy Core Typing. Rock. Uh, again, coverage. It can do stealth rocks. It can do barriers. Things like that. Screens. I think it gets recovery. I'm not too sure. But. 150 in both of the defense special defense and then 100 in attack and special attack really good uh 
I think it has a signature move. Uh, Diamond Storm is it? I think Diamond Storm's a good move. Physical move, I think. Yeah. So yeah, Diancy, solid pick. No one picked it up, so I thought I might as well grab it. Round 13, I picked another tier 5 lantern. This is so I, I could have Volta's up. Uh, Volt Absorb on the team. This means that I can switch into this if I face off against an electric type. So it covers for Palkia really well. Uh, good HP, all the other stats are sort of bad. But it's a solid pick. I've been looking at the move pool, it gets lots of good moves, and it's a cleric, so that's always nice. And yeah, I think it was a really good pick for me. Um, so yeah, those have been all of my picks. Um, hopefully you'll watch my videos throughout the league. I hope that you'll enjoy them. Uh, I'll have many more videos to come. If uh, Leave suggestions of what you want to see me do. Because obviously I'm open to ideas. You know, I could do Nuzlocks, Sleep Locks. Uh, what else? Co-ops. Whatever you want to see, tell me and I will do it. I'll definitely be doing leagues and I'll definitely be doing some Nuzlocks along the way. But yeah, leave comments on what I should do. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe, it really helps me. Um, you know, the more subscribers I get, the more that you'll get. Because in the future, like, if I hit 100 subs soon, after that 100 I'll start producing more content, stuff like podcasts, um, each week I want to do a video on smaller channels, promoting smaller channels, showcasing one of their videos, because it's really important as a community that we work together, these are my beliefs, I think we're all great, so yeah, hit a like, subscribe, join the discord if you want, come and chat to me, I love meeting new people, think you're all amazing um yeah that's it from me i'll see you soon goodbye